Hi, my name's Corinne Brad. Welcome to the Crafts Channel. Um, in my attempt to be more environmentally friendly and to ditch the disposable, I've got a demo for you today for reusable sandwich bags. So you can make them in any size that you like to fit whatever you need to put in them. And they are simply like an envelope back cushion. They flip open at the top. You can pop your snacks in there, flip the top back, and then hopefully nothing comes out. Obviously, if you break all the biscuits that are in there, you might get some crumbs come out of them. But ideally, they should be fine. And if you make them large enough, you can pop your sandwich in there, close the top over without any problem whatsoever. So I'm going to make one of the smaller snack size ones. So if you've got kids that just need to take an 11s with them to school or something like that, you want two pieces of fabric. Now, these are 30 centimetres long by 15 centimetres wide. And what I've got here is I've got a nice printed cotton and I've got a manufactured oil cloth. Now, I believe this is food safe. Um, put it this way, I've got stuff made out of oil cloth and it hasn't killed me yet. What you can also do is if you've made your own beeswax cloth, you could use that as a liner for your bag. And simply put them together, right sides together. And then we're just going to sew down these two short seams. And I'm using clips for this because sometimes with oil cloth, if you put pins in them, it leaves holes. So there's one short seam. and the next short seam. So turn them right way out. And also, because these are going to be the top edges of your bag, I am just going to top stitch those seams. And most oil cloth is lovely to work on. You can run it through a domestic sewing machine with no problem whatsoever. Even when you think if you're top stitching this, you're going through two layers of oil cloth. Provided your needle is sharp and not bent, you won't have any problems with it at all. And the way that the bag is constructed is very much like um, what we call an envelope back cushion. If you've watched one of our previous videos, we've actually done a cushion cover with this kind of back. Now you can either do it inside out if you don't mind having um, frayable seams. I'm going to do this right sides out because I'm going to sew a French seam. And I'm going to fold it up so that it's about a five mil, a five mil, five centimetre overlap at the top. So that's the pocket part of your bag and this is the flap and I'm just going to clip this again here and here and sew straight down the sides through all of those layers. And again, just a five mil seam allowance is ample. Because then what you're going to do is just trim down those seams. I am just going to put my glasses on so I don't trim through my stitching. So trim that seam down to about two millimetres. You can do it with sharp scissors. If you've got a rotary cutter and rule, then make the most of it. And 
also press hard enough so that it actually goes through all of your pieces of fabric and not just the top few. So you've done your side seams. I mean, to be honest with you, with oilcloth, it doesn't fray. And if you want to just run a zigzag stitch around there, then that would be sufficient if you're not overly fussy about how your sandwich bags look. But we do like things to be neat and tidy at the Crafts Channel. So just turn it inside out. And when you turn it inside out, you'll discover that the fold over flap will obviously be on the inside now. That's absolutely fine. Push out all your corners. And just roll that hem to make sure, that hem, that seam, to make sure that it is as far out as it can go before you then sew on the inside, creating a French seam. And because you're sewing with the oil cloth now between the foot and the feed plate of your machine, you might find it's a little bit sticky. So you might just need to push it through a bit more than you normally would, especially when you get to the extra layers. See what I mean? It just doesn't really want to go through that because oil cloth is a little bit, it's a bit grabby. There you go. Trim off your ends of thread so that the kids don't complain they've got cotton in their cheese and pickle sandwiches. And with it being oilcloth, what it does mean is if you've got a sandwich then you've put mayonnaise in it or mustard or something like that and it's leaked out, you can just turn the bag inside out, give it a rub over with a hot sponge or crochet dishcloth if you've made some of your own. Turn it back. Poke out your corners. And there you have it. Really quick reusable spon uh, sponge bag. Quick reusable sandwich bag. And once they get really grubby, just pop them in the wash with everything else. Oil cloth should be okay to wash as long as your detergent isn't too strong and your washing machine temperature isn't too high. Beeswax, you may want to recoat your beeswax or just give it a wash in warm soapy water in the sink. You won't get a hot enough temperature to melt the beeswax, so you should be fine. And hopefully it means it's another step towards ditching the cling film. So... I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. I'm now going to sit and eat my crackers and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks very much for having us. Bye bye. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by the Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.